he looked at your drawing on the computer, oh, yeah. and he said, "That's overload, isn't yeah. it?" Yeah. Just like that. Oh really? <laughs> I didn't even tell him what it was. Well, I did a number of um, images. I wasn't really too sure of what overload means, and I tried to do a met metaphorical picture. Yeah. And I did a number of different designs. Obviously, someone's got to tell me what overload means, and and, you, and Ivan said that is the picture. So I was really happy with that. The suggestion for the t title overload was mine. Uh, and I was thinking mainly of sensory overload, which I tend to suffer from. See what I mean? That sound in it. It sounds like beep beep, you know, when they get the, the, the message. The project was circulated amongst various uh, groups, including uh, Cool Tan Arts, where I do a uh, self advocacy uh, course and a few other things. That's how I heard about it, uh, and there was an invite to this meeting which took place at the British Film Institute on the 28th of January, 2011. We weren't in entirely sure what the um, topic was going to be. It looked like it was going to be uh, to do with uh, social exclusion and it was all a bit general. Uh, your responsibility is not to get spaghetti. Yeah, right. I just started the world or something. Yeah. As soon as you put that down there, it's not. We were shown a number of films that day which gave us some, some ideas and which was very interesting. Uh, certain films that um, talked about the development of mental health and mental health services spanning a number of decades basically going back to the um, Second World War, more or less. Then there was an, another meeting which was held at Asia Exchange. Um, unfortunately, in the meantime, uh, a lot of funding was cut um, from people who needed to attend with the support workers. So the uh, groups in Croydon and elsewhere, Lewisham, I think, uh, that were uh, completely cut out of it, which is a great pity. I'm just going to come just past that sign to look in the window, so you need to come out a bit more. That's it, and that, is, that gives you enough people walking around, okay. plus we'll see her. And so Ivan and I discussed how could we actually ensure that uh, people did show up and that there was an involvement and we came to the conclusion that the best thing to do would be to try and then focus it around uh, Cool Town Arts which already has quite an uh, arts program by the nature of the organisation uh, to do with mental health and there would be quite a number of people who would be interested in all those aspects uh, of it. Take two and action. Excuse me, do you mind if I ask you some questions? I've been volunteering for Cool Town for quite a while, actually, since 2009. And this, the idea of this project comes to us after we get the founding from SLAM, I guess. And I find it really interesting, and I'm always up trying to make something creative. I came to Overload via Ability Media, uh, where I was taking a course on moving image. And right now I'm taking an animation course and I'm helping with overload, taking pictures, cameraman, boom man, holding the cords. I'm like putty, you know, I'm molded to do whatever they need me to do. I joined the group and I operate camera, I assist director, and I do whatever is required to be done. So I'm increasing in knowledge, I'm learning more, you know, I'm learning more. You learn by experience. When you do something, you learn. I feel like I'm learning more and gaining more experience. And it's, I feel like I'm doing something helping to reveal some hidden part of society, some people that he is going through kind of pain. Rolling. Action take three, first question. What does overload mean to you? 
Zoe doesn't really like watching herself, that's why she's gone. Oh, really? What triggers your overload? No, not really. No. Hearing children playing and being happy. My name is Chloe Harbour, and I got in... Start that again. Okay, so yeah. I'm not very good at being me. My name's Chloe Harbour, and I got involved with this project through Age Exchange. That's a good one, isn't it? Yeah. I have played characters that have got issues, but this is slightly different because it's a real person that I've met and it's very direct and straight to the point. Whereas in a play, it's a lot more hidden. You, you were in at the beginning, but yeah. we kind of lost you for a little while because, and then you came back. Yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> because I had a problem with my legacy to attend and go or editing and all those places, you know, mm. uh, look at the studios. But I, um, see, the idea, I, I was possessed by the idea that the mental health issues are not really properly came into the public area, our public medium. You were at VFI as well, Simon. I remember. That was, f for which screening was that? Yeah. We, we, we showed some films about mental health and then we went all yeah, so was the there. room. That's right. We, did, we, did, you know, we didn't discuss overload because that wasn't yep. the subject. Oh, the meeting at the BFI. Oh, yeah. Yes, I remember it well. Yeah, yeah. very well. And, uh, yeah. But we were saying, with, yeah, people were saying, how are we going to get this idea together? Yep. You know, you're not really going to let a group of people <laughs> loose with a camera and work out what they're going to film. How's that going to work? Right. Where are we now? We've just, we're nearly at the end of the filming. Question two, take one, and action. What is your particular overload? Paranoia. And cut. That was particularly good for a first take. That worries me. <laughs> it's helped me to understand a bit more about my direction personally. Um, honed my skills and helped me to understand various roles, how they interlink within film and filmmaking. Um, the production, the post-production, how things come together, how you can start with a plan of one thing and it changes, it morphs into different ideas as you go along, different people's contributions add to it and you, you make changes so that it all blends in and still makes sense to the audience. I always came out with refresh ideas because uh, everyone has got some kind of tactfulness, you know, uh, to, to move the discussion and points going on and it refreshes. One guy particularly kind of said, there's too many things for me to do. Yeah. I'm doing my business, I'm doing this. And I think that fits in with an overload mm. countrywide, mm. worldwide yes, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And maybe yeah. this is, f for me, I'm hoping that the word overload, which Adrian came up with. Very interesting choice. Um, mm. Would be a new word to describe um, a psychotic situation. Well, not a psychotic, but any oh. form of not being able to cope with, uh, with the stress you're in or the position you're in, and it will break down some stigma. What's been the fun bit? Is there a fun bit in all of this? Has there it, been an it, enjoyment it, it, in it as well? The whole the thing is enjoyment as it is coming out of uh, us, you know, yeah. and we feel a bit important, kind of, you know, we are existing. Yeah, he might be back was afraid. Sorry? Him at the back wasn't ready. He wasn't you weren't ready? ready. No. You interrupted that He, he wasn't ready. It doesn't matter if I was ready. He's <laughs> 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 got, got an ego the size of a planet to deal with here, yeah. Simon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's a rock star, remember? Rolling. Yeah. <laughs> and take four. 
And you're ready, Simon, and action. Sasha, what do you think has been the kind of benefit of doing this project? I think tremendous, first of all, you know, all the participants who are doing it, uh, they they have got creativity within themselves. Uh, and some people are recognizing it first time and others are used to it.